Hi girls. You wanna come out for a little bit? You wanna come out? Come on. Come on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and we do gardening here on this channel and I am in Central Texas Zone 8B. So I'm, I'm trying to do better about saying that because I don't say my name and then I don't say where I live and then I'm like, and then I think about it like later and then it just doesn't make sense. But anyways, <laughs> so if I sound awkward introducing myself, <clears throat> it's because it kind of is awkward. Like it's not like every time I talk to my friends, I'm like, hey guys, I'm Morgan. And I feel like I'm just chatting with my, my friends. <laughs> but anyways, I am, I just got home from work and I have about 30 minutes before I have a meeting and then I gotta run and get my son and then go to swim lessons. So it's just crazy busy. And I feel like life has been so busy lately. So I haven't had a lot of time to film, but I have been in the garden a lot actually because it's been so nice. You guys, this is why I live in Austin because it's so nice here it's like 70 degrees today yesterday or a couple days ago it was like 80 like at one point it was like 80 but it's so nice i let the chickens out to roam around for a little bit before i have to go to my meeting and i wanted to show you all around the garden because i've done a lot of stuff and it's it looks like a huge it it's like not that messy but it just feels like i clean up and then i make a, another mess and like then i clean up again and then i make like another mess so I've got like stuff everywhere. I've got like the wheelbarrow out because I was uh, starting um, bare root strawberries, which I'll show you all. I'll show you what it's going on inside and outside because a lot of what's going on inside will eventually come outside, obviously. And there's the chickens. <laughs> They're just so happy. And look, this one by the garden bed. Where am I pointing? Right there. She really likes to go in the garden beds and it's been like fine. I haven't really like been letting them go in there. I've been like trying to chase them. And she's like eating the tops of the onion, which they shouldn't even eat onion, but eh, she's leaving. I think she's just like, what's this? Um, I have to keep chasing her out of the garden bed. And I know at some point, once there's a bunch of stuff in there, I'm not gonna let, be able to let them free range around. So we'll um, <clears throat> put up something so that they can be in the rest of the yard, just not the garden area. <laughs> so, and we do stay outside with them when they free range because um, I'm just nervous about them getting eaten and also we have like so many hawks all the time circling around and it makes me nervous so anyways they're just free ranging so I can show you around what's going on kind of a garden tour kind of like what's up in the garden like what's going on it looks really like empty but like I know it's like this is the this is the time when like I feel like last year I didn't do enough during this time to have a successful spring. And I think this year I'm like way more on top of it. I'm like, I had only started this garden in October. So I kind of did some stuff in October and then it like froze. And then um, I didn't really do anything until, you know, March probably. But this year I'm like, I think I did plant potatoes in January last year. Um, but I feel like I'm like way more prepared and I have a lot more going on, but I also have to like tell myself like, it's not spring, like it's 70 degrees, but it's not spring yet, it's winter. And who knows, we might get another like hard frost and that's fine, I've I've planned for that. I'm not like putting in stuff that um, would die, but I did throw in like a couple like um, sweet pea seeds, sugar snap peas, um, just in case. And I was like, if they die, they die, but um, it's just a couple of seeds, so. Anyways, I got my coffee. Because I'm so tired, but <laughs> anyways. Let me go ahead and show you on the garden because I've been just chatting and I feel like I haven't talked to y'all for a while, so that's why I'm like trying to catch you up on life stuff um, and garden stuff. So, all right, let's go walk around the garden. So, chickens are happy. Um, it looks really messy right now because I'm like in the midst of reorganizing and like seed starting and all that so it'll be clean eventually probably not but um these two that uh, i was using that bucket to soak my um bare root strawberries in i need to go put my coffee down because 
I'll just put it on this bucket. Anyways, so I was using that bucket to, to do my bare strawberries to soak them. And then I have my two blueberry bushes, which are like dormant right now. Um, and then all of these, I think there's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Wait, did I count right? Eight, yeah. Eight grow bags slash pots with potatoes in them. So doing all my pot, my potatoes in grow bags slash containers this year mostly one because i made a little reel about it one it's easier to harvest hey hey what you guys do i think it's actually good that they're like going in there to like eat bugs and stuff but i don't know <laughs> you guys tell me chicken owners um anyways one because it's going to be way easier to harvest you can just dump the bag or container out and then you have all the potatoes right there and last year I did not enjoy digging through the dirt to find the tiny, tiny potatoes I grew. So that's one reason. Second reason is I'm just trying to have more room in my actual garden beds for other stuff. So that's another reason that I'm doing it this way. So we'll see. It's kind of a fun experiment like containers versus grow bags. I like to try to grow things in different areas, in different mediums, just to see how it does. Um, and then my lemon balm, I just cut back all the stuff that had died. I did like a huge harvest of uh, lemon balm before the freeze. And then there was still like some left and that all died. But then um, we've got a bunch of new stuff coming in. And this lemon balm, I think is four years old. So the roots should be really well developed. It wasn't a pot, but it's been in the bed since like basically last October. So more than a year. So it's, it's good. I love lemon balm highly recommend um and then we've got some beets popping up here i sewed in this bed beets carrots and i think radish um i didn't label anything but yeah <laughs> we've got some little beets popping up here some more over here some more over here so that's really exciting these leaves last year they drove me crazy and this year they are driving me crazy again so, the problem with these leaves is that they will cause weeds. Um, I think it's this one. The, I think it's the oak tree, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, there's two, there's two, there's two different kinds of trees. So there's like two or three different kinds of trees. But um, one of them, all the little seedlings pop up. So, um, anyways, so the beets actually germinated really well. They're like pretty, kind of a lot of them. Um, and then I've got one purple Brussels sprout that survived the freeze. And I don't see any carrots like popping up. Carrots are like really hard to germinate. Something's over there. Let me see. Okay, let me show you over here really quick. Onions, so yesterday I came out and planted my onion sets. So the ones that are the onion sets are these because you buy them and they're like pre-grown. Um, they're like started from seed. I believe and grown like this and that's what I did last year but I also had planted just bulbs little onion bulbs and that's the ones that you can see the greens are much longer um, and they did survive the freeze they have uh, some damage and I removed some of the very damaged leaves um, but that's where you can tell the difference between like the ones that have been planted since I think I planted these in December and then I just planted these like mid-January. So that's the difference between those. And then, hi, sorry. Hey, 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 hey. I scared her. <laughs> She's so destructive. Let me see what this is. I see something. Something popping up here. I don't know what. Um, sorry, I can't talk for too long. So what am I doing? I'm like stalling here. Something is popping up, maybe a radish. I can't remember all the things. So mostly I planted root veg and then in this one as well. Oh, these are carrots for sure. Okay, cool. So we have some carrot germination. That's great. We've got some carrot germination here going on. And then it looks like my little, mm, sorry, lighting is weird. Looks like my little sugar snap or snow peas are popping up. There's one right there. There's some right there. I did two rows. Um, I figured I could also stake something here if they need something to climb on. And then like a random onion. I'm pretty sure those are radishes there. And then, oh, I know over here, 
I did kale and lettuce, so that's definitely some kind of butter lettuce. Okay, sorry, I adjusted the lighting. This is some kind of butter lettuce or romaine, and then also there's more over there. Wow, everything germinated since yesterday. I was out here yesterday and none of this was up, so wow. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So I didn't put any onions in this bed. I just drank, like, guys, get out of there. Get out of there, get out of there. Go, 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 come on. Oh my gosh, that's gonna have to be rectified pretty soon. Um, my thyme survived, my oregano, I think survived. My mint seems like it survived. Like a lot of it died, but then as you can see, there's like new growth coming in. So it looks like it survived, like look at that. So that's great. Um, over here, we have more onion sets in here and cilantro cilantro survived the freeze so that's cool girls are you being nice to each other are you being nice to each other mm-hmm i kind of pick on her and i feel really bad about it i really don't know what to do about it if anyone has any ideas that one that's zuma she's really mean chicoletta and i feel bad but i don't know i just try to watch them and then my green stock, I have topped it up with fresh soil and the soil in there isn't like super old, it's less than a year old. So I just topped it up all the way to the top with fresh soil. soil. And I'm thinking we're gonna do all strawberries in here, but we'll see. So I do have some strawberries from last year in here that I just came and I removed um, like the really dead leaves from it. And I made sure that the crowns weren't buried because that's what happened last year with my bare root strawberries i buried them way too deep so i'm trying not to do that this year but these are the ones from last year so let's see more onions in this bed that's what all of the cabbages looked like so sad after the frost but the brussels sprout seems to have survived so that's good nothing exciting in here just um onions and then also my garlic looks pretty good so obviously a lot of it died back from the frost like a lot of the brown stuff but it's perked back up and it's putting on new growth since it fr froze like a couple weeks ago um and it's putting on new growth so i think it's good to go so i'm happy about that i think i planted everything way too close but we're just gonna see what happens <laughs> and then this is the very back garden bed i cleaned it up a little bit yesterday it was weedy i still need to weed this whole area i still need to weed around here <laughs> so a lot of this stuff like i thought that maybe it was carrots so i was waiting to see if it was carrots it wasn't it was weeds so <laughs> surprise um so i still need to weed a bunch um and like a lot of this grass and stuff but i think that's actually might be a carrot that is a carrot um, but like this, when it was really small, I couldn't tell exactly what it is. I think maybe this is purslane. Mm, don't quote me. I'm not a forager yet. Maybe one day. But um, when they were really small, I thought they were carrots. And now they're, but they're not. And but my cilantro was doing really well. I've got like a random onion. A lot of this is really random, guys. Sorry, I'm not that organized. <laughs> and then I put onions all around here and it looks really messy um but you know what it's done so um some of them were like the really tall ones you can see those were the ones that were already there and then the shorter ones are the ones i just planted yesterday we also have one brussels sprout and it seems to be like forming brussels sprouts i don't know guys what do you think you think it's actually going to do something i removed some of the bottom leaves because they were like dead and it felt like maybe it would be better for it to just put more energy into the Brussels sprouts and like see these ones got damaged in the frost. But it's putting on new leaves, like a lot of new leaves. So I'm like, I don't know. I think it should be much bigger by now, but that's what we got. So I don't know. But this soil seems to be pretty good. I harvested the carrots from here before the frost and they were my most successful carrots ever. Um, I've only ever gotten like really tiny carrots and these were pretty decent size. Some of them were like a little small because it was a little early, but I wanted to just harvest them before it frosted. But we do have a few more like there. There's some carrots. 
and then some really tiny ones over there again might be weeds but i'm pretty sure those are actually carrots so yeah okay back inside i know that there's not much going on and it doesn't look like much is going on outside and that's true because everything died but i thought i would show you what's going on inside because i got a new seed starting setup going on and my arrow garden so we still have a lot of plants and um yeah but anyways that's what's going on outside it doesn't look like much but this is kind of the time of the year and so i guess i want to show that like we see those gardens in bloom on instagram of like you know the trellis is like covered and everything looks perfect and lush and it just doesn't always look like that like realistically your garden isn't going to look like look like that year round um even if you live in like a, a temperate climate like this is kind of semi-temperate but even if you live in a temperate climate like your things aren't always going to be in bloom but so i thought i would just show you guys my garden even though it doesn't look perfect and i'm just trying to get over my perfectionism so let me show you what's going on inside um i'll show you my air gardens and then i'll show you my seed starting because that's what i'm most excited about all right so we've got some stuff going on in the air garden so the first one here we have uh kale and collard green swiss chard sorry not collard greens and i'm excited because i've never grown swiss chard before successfully and this is the biggest i've ever had a swiss chard and i've already taken a couple leaves off of it um that's the thing about the air garden is in, you know if you want to harvest like a whole head of like kale you probably won't get that um but realistically the air garden um, because it's just cramped for space and it, they're on this really high shelf so sorry I have to have my arm up high um, the best way that I have found to harvest is just to harvest like the largest leaves and just keep going from there because um, if you just cut the whole thing off it's done and it also gets overcrowded in there so I try to keep it like trimmed back um, and just like use the leaves regularly um and you're not gonna get like a huge salad off of it but you know i like to throw it in smoothies or soups or whatnot so kale is definitely one of my favorite things to grow in the air garden um we also have tomatoes and these are yellow cherry tomatoes and as you can see the plants are a little sad looking they get like this um but you can cut everything back once you pick all the tomatoes and this is the second round of tomatoes on these but there's really some big clusters oh i dropped one oh no i have to go get that but there's really some like nice big clusters on there so my husband eats those i'm not a huge fan but whatever oh, they're good in salads but i'm not like uh, i don't just eat tomatoes <laughs> like that and then we have some lettuces these are still babies but um it's like a red lettuce and like a butter lettuce so yeah it's nice to have fresh greens even during the winter and I love my air garden. Seed starting. So our house is really small. So my seed starting is in the living room and it's actually not really bothering me. The lights seem less annoying than the air garden lights. I don't know if it's because they're lower and the air garden lights are really high up, um, but they just don't seem as like bright. So we've got some stuff going on. These are a bunch of brassicas, broccolis and cauliflowers. And there's pumpkin. She always needs some love when I'm filming or anytime I'm home basically so um broccoli some cabbages just a few cabbages and I don't think I'm gonna have enough time before it gets hot and some bro uh, broccolini which I'm excited for and regular broccoli as well so I'm worried that these got a little bit leggy I thought I had the light close enough but I think not quite, but now I can't really lower it because they're tall, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if they get too leggy, hopefully it won't be like too, too leggy, but some of them seem like okay. And then some of them, weirdly enough, the ones like in the middle seem more leggy, which are actually closer to the light, so I don't know. And then finally we have some germination on, oh my gosh, pumpkin, <laughs> on some peppers or tomatoes so these are all peppers and tomatoes in this tray and i just took the um clear cover off of it this is not a cat video this is a plant video this, this is not a cat channel do you think it should be a cat channel <laughs> so 
sorry. Anyways, so we finally have some germination on some tomatoes and peppers. I started these way later than these. Um, just if you're like, what the heck? No, I started these maybe a week after these. And then also peppers and tomatoes, specifically peppers, seem to take a long time to germinate. Um, and then these are my lovely bare root strawberries. So they look a little wonky, but that's, that's how they are. And I made sure not to bury the crown. So that was my mistake last year. And I also started these outside. I decided to keep them inside for now, mainly because I don't know where I'm gonna put them outside yet. I'm thinking the green stock, but I haven't quite decided yet. So I was like, let me just keep them inside. Then I don't have to worry about covering them, and blah, blah, blah. And I'll know for sure which ones took root and are thriving before I put them out and waste all this space. So hopefully they will make it, but they actually look way better today than they did like the day I potted them up. I was like, oh my God, those look so sad, but they, they seem to be looking a lot better today. And then microgreens, which probably will eat some of them tomorrow. And then those actually have nothing in them, <laughs> but these ones do. We went to like a little seed swap. Um, wow, there's already germination on these. There's, uh, we went to a little seed swap on Sunday and today's Wednesday. So pretty fast germination, that one I need to water. But um, honestly, let me see what these are. So, oh, some of these are not, um, this is not the great time to start them, but my three-year-old was there and he was just like picking seeds and wanted to start seeds. So I was like, I'm not gonna tell him not to because he's not always that into gardening. So I was like, okay, you can just start whatever you want. And I'll actually show you some of the seeds I got there. Um, so he started this, some kind of squash, um, which it's too early to start squash, but, um, you know, it is what it is. This one, this one must be a pepper cause it's not labeled. Um, cilantro. He also wanted to start cilantro, uh, which is fine cause it seems to like the cold. Uh, this is a sweet pepper and then... That one is also not labeled. Okay, surprise plants. We love surprise plants. <laughs> so anyways, those are some of the things we started at the seed swap. Um, so that's kind of fun. And we'll see how that goes. And I really love having my um, seeds right here because I've had them in the garage in the past. And it's so nice to have them in here because I will check on them multiple times a day and it only takes a second. And then I just can spray them and I just keep this like spray bottle right here. So it's just like there all the time and I don't have to like run outside and run back in and all of that. And so it just, I just think I'm gonna take better care of the seeds because I now see them all the time. So even though it's kind of weird to have seeds in my living room, you know, it's fine. And then I'll show you some of the seeds or the seeds that we got at the seed uh, swap. Some of these my toddler picked out. Um, so they're kind of random, but um, who doesn't love seed packets? So this one, I think I actually picked this because this early girl tomato was the only tomato I got tomatoes off of um, in my fall tomato crop. So I thought, oh, maybe I could do this for the fall. And it's also okay in containers. Um, so I don't know, I just grabbed it. I have a ton of tomato seeds from one of y'all that you guys sent me, um, which is super nice and I'm super excited to try some of them. Some of those are the ones that I've already started and I'm gonna start more this week. So I also got more radish because I um, used up all my radish seeds and I got this sweet meat squash, which I've heard some people say is kind of weird, but it's huge apparently. And it stores <laughs> this cat. The thing is my locker in the bedroom, she's just gonna scratch <laughs> at the door. So. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, so it's supposed to store, it wouldn't like be one of the pumpkins you can store for the longest time. So I thought it might be fun. And then um, radicchio, is that how you pronounce it? Um, I really like this in salads. I've never grown it, but I thought it might be nice to put in salads. And then this one really intrigued me because it's a container cucumber. And I had two thoughts. One, I thought, 
that would be nice because I don't have to have trellising space for it and I can keep it in like a grow bag or something. And my second thought was I maybe could grow it in the aero garden. So maybe I'll try that after I clear my tomatoes out. I've seen people in like Facebook groups grow cucumbers in the aero garden. So I just thought maybe that would be interesting and it does have a few seeds in it, I think. Oh, watch, watch me have this and then it has no seeds in it. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, there are like three seeds in there. Three or four seeds. Hey, better than nothing. And then um, some green beans, pole beans. Leo, my son, picked these out and I was like, oh cool, I, we can never have enough beans. We really like growing green beans because they're easy and you can just direct sow them and yeah, they're great. So I'm excited about that. And those are the seeds I got and I took some seeds. So it, it's fun to get involved in like community things. So yeah, that's what's going on in the garden and inside and with the seeds and everything. So I'm really looking forward to this gardening season and um, I'm really gonna try to film more of it because I am not the best at filming. And the reason I'm not is because I am a perfectionist. Not because I don't want to, it's because I always like worry that it's not gonna be perfect. And then, which is silly because honestly, everyone's on the internet, <laughs> not everyone, but I'm not like really worried about being embarrassed on the internet. I'm more worried about like, is it a quality that someone would wanna watch? And yeah, I just think for me, I need to stop with that because I would rather watch people's videos that are like real and that I really see their life and like what they're doing in their garden. Like I really wanna see what really people are doing in their garden. And that's why I made this channel because I feel like there's a lot of these perfectly put together videos about gardening and it's great um, for information purposes. But it's not always the best for motivation because you kind of see these people that have this perfect garden and your garden doesn't look like that. My garden doesn't look like that. <sighs> My cat is insane. She's eating banana tape around the bananas. Anyways, that's her favorite thing. So <laughs> anyways, I just want my channel to be real, realistic and share what I'm doing in my garden in that moment. And even if it's not perfect or my editing isn't the best, just sharing it just to inspire others. And also for me to go back and look at what I've done and like how much I've changed, um, like my garden and my skills and stuff like that. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't the most put together video. And look, see, my dog carries my shoes around the house. My cat is eating banana tape. What is wrong with these animals? Like, what is going on? These animals are so weird. So weird. What are you doing? Don't you want to be on the camera? Don't you want to be filmed? <laughs> so anyways, I am going to relax. No, I'm not going to relax. I'm going to go feed the chickens some food, some veggie scraps, and then I'm going to go pick my son up from school. So Anyways, I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I will hopefully be sharing more gardening content this year and not, you know, saying I'm going to do it and not doing it, but <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video and and I would love to know what you are growing in your garden this year, so let me know. Bye!